ಓಂ ಜ್ಞಾನತಿಮೃಂಧಸಾಂಜನಶಲಾಕೆಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರನ್ಮಿಲ ತಸ್ಮೈಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರ ಶ್ರೀಯುತಪದಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀಗುರೂನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹಗಣರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣಪದನ್ ಸಹಗಣಲಿತೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧ ದೀನಬಂಧ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವದಾನ್ಯಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯಿನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮನೆ ಗೌರತ್ವಿಷೇ ನಮಃ ಪಂಚತತ್ವಾತ್ಮಕ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಸ್ವಕ ಭಕ್ತಾವತಾರಂ ಭಕ್ತಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಮಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಜನ್ಮಾದ್ಯಸೆಯತೋನ್ವಯಾದಿತ್ರ ಚಾರ್ಥೆ ಸುಭಿಜ್ಯ ಸ್ವರಾಟ್ ತೇನೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಹೃದಯಕವೇ ಮುಹಿಯಂತೂರಯ ತೇಜೋ ವಾರಿ ಮೃದಾಥಿಮಯೋತ್ರಸರ್ಗೋ ಮೃಷಾ ಧಾಂ ಸ್ವೇನ ಸದಾ ನಿರಸ್ತಕುಹಕ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಪರಂ ಧೀಮಹಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದಿರೇತ್ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಅಸ್ತು ವಿಶ್ವ ಖಲ ಪ್ರಸೀದ ಧ್ಯಾಂತ ಭೂತ ಶಿವ ಮಿಥೋ ಧಿಯ ಮನಸ್ ಭದ್ರಂ ಭಜತೋಕ್ಷಜೇ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಕೆಂಟ್ರ ಟೆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ವಿ ರೆಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕಾತ್ಯಾಯಿನಿ ವ್ರತ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಬೈ ದ ಯಂಗ್ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸ್ಟೀಲಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ finally giving it back to them when they perform the praschitta for taking bath naked in the river so as we read that krishna did most uh, insulting act to them as women to ask them to come out and take the dress then put their head on hands on the head bow down but still they were not critical they were not upset they were not angry they did not find fault with him and that is because they loved him 
So this pastime is very important and very controversial also at the same time because this is to show the strength of their love, power of their preeti towards Krishna and how much they are dedicated and surrendered and the meaning of the statement that Krishna is their very life so they can give up anything for him which is difficult to give up otherwise so we all have some identity and primarily now in the material world our identity is related with our physical body and everybody is attached to their identity so identity is at various levels on the level of our relations to our family members according to our job according to our age but the deepest among them is the identity of our gender because these other identities you can change you may be working in one company today and you say I am so and so like people say I am an apple man right some people have identity like that (laughs) so but you can change the job then you become something else or you have relationship with somebody, I am husband of so and so, I am wife so and so, that also can change. But your gender remains. And this is the deepest identity we have. So, it, and generally, gender and sex, they are related. Sex is according to the physical shape of the body, the physical organs and gender is what we think in the mind. So even physical we change now, let there is operation you can perform. But why do they do it? Because it is not matching with the gender which is in the mind. It's not that they try to change the mind according to the physical body or physical organs but they change the physical organs because it is difficult to change the inner one. So this is the deepest thing. You may meet somebody, you may not remember their name. A lot of time has passed. You may not remember their face also. But one thing you you will not forget whether that person was male or female. You cannot say, well, I forgot whether was she a boy or a girl? So that you will not forget. You may forget everything else about that person. But even 30, 40, 50 years pass, he may be your friend, childhood, classmate, and you meet after 50 years, you may not recognize. But you can never say that that friend was a girl when actually he was a boy or vice versa. So this is very deep and one of the teaching which we can understand from here is that Krishna asked them to actually renounce this identity also means surrender this this attachment to that means you completely give up everything for my sake because you said you are my servant so our true identity is as the gopis said that that we are your servants, thus So that is actually our true identity beyond this material identity. In our deep sleep, beyond the dream state, that identity remains, everything else is forgotten. Because ahankara is beyond mind, beyond buddhi. It is the second evolute from Mahatattva. So that continues even in the deep sleep. So this ahamvritti, it is the deepest and this is to be offered to Krishna. You can offer even external things, but true thing is to offer that. Because everything rotates around that. 
ahamrithi so that is the meaning that we are servant of krishna krishna das so naham vipruna napi vasuna sudra so nothing but gopi bhartu pad kamle das 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 so this das das anudas is not in relationship with the physical body but our inner identity das bhuto hare reva nanyastu kadachin so that that is what is being depicted here that we are servant of krishna and if we are servant of krishna then everything belongs to him and what is actually hidden from him he is inside he is parmatma sarvasya cha ham hridi sannivishta so what is there if he sees you from outside is already inside and also outside because it is he only who exists everything so what is kammano buddhire vacha ahankaram iti me bhinna prakriti vasthana and this ahankar is also his bhinna prakriti belongs to him only and jeev bhuta mahabhav edam dharyate jagat that jeev is also his shakti so it all belongs to him it is all within him if there is nothing which is hidden from him but it is we who separate ourselves from him and that's what creates the difference so ultimately it is advaivad only we don't say advaitvad because we say that there is nothing else but him and everything is denied everything is exists we also have our existence but it is not independent of him and this is what we need to accept so when prema is there then this is accepted that's what prema means that not separate it's not that we don't have a separate identity but it's also one it's not independent so that is the teaching vadanti tat tattva das tattva is gyanam advayam so this is the advaya gyan that krishna so charishnu cha charishnu cha moving on moving so everything is krishna so if everything is him then there is nothing to hide and therefore there is no what you call as ashlil or what is the english word lusty about it what is being described this is actually what is being described is the reality and the truth and this is accepted by gopis because they are his antaranga shakti expansion of his antaranga shakti only they are non different from him and that's why they are happy and there is no question of finding fault in him finding fault in him means finding fault in yourself so now he says paridhaya swavasansi प्रेष्टसंगम सज्जिता गृहीत चित्ता नो चेलु तस्मिन लज्जाई तेक्षण सो दे टुक देअर ड्रेसिस दे पुट दम ऑन एंड दे वर वेरी मच अटैच्ड टू द यूनियन ऑफ देअर बिलवर्ड प्रेष्ठ गृहीत चित्ता देअर माइंड्स यस कृष्ण therefore they were unable to move because you move their mind goes right if your mind goes somewhere then body goes there if you want to go somewhere first you think of going there but their mind is not going anywhere krishna is in front of them 
and they did one month of vrata to have him now he is available so how can their mind go somewhere else it is not that we do puja krishna is in front of us and our mind is going everywhere so therefore grihita chitta and it's not that they are trying to fix their mind one is that you try to make an effort to put your mind on krishna on the name of krishna on his form but he has taken away their mind it is their mind is as if snatched away by him so they have no independence there is no possibility of them thinking that they are independent because if you feel independent or not even independent only because of the mind but if your mind is already in his control he has taken it then where is the possibility of going anywhere else so tasmat kena vi prakarena mana krishna niveshayat for narada rishi tells yudhishthira maharaj that by any means so try to put your mind on krishna we have to do that because our mind is wandering here in the matter and then they were looking at him lajjayit ekshana they are looking at krishna with bashful eyes sotika कामेंट्री प्रेष्ठस्य संगमेन सज्जिता तस्मिन एव अत्यधिकम आशक्ति कृता सो देयर दे वर एब्सोल्युटली अटैच्ड एब्जॉर्ब्ड इन एसोसिएशन ऑफ कृष्णा दे वर नॉट एबल टू मूव यथा कृष्णेन तासाम वसनानि गृहितानि तथा गृहितम तस्या चित्तम या भिस्ता परस्पर प्रेम आश्रत्व मुक्त एंड जस्ट एज कृष्णा हैज स्टोल देयर ड्रेसेस दे ऑल्सो स्टोल कृष्णा झार्ट सो दे ओनली कृष्णा ओनली स्टोल द एक्सटर्नल ड्रेस ऑफ कोर्स हार्ट इज ऑलरेडी स्टोल एंड दैट्स वाई दे आर डूइंग द व्रत so their heart was already stolen then he also troll stole their dresses but his heart was also stolen by them so this is mutual love paraspar prem ashrayatva so in love there are two vibhava ashraya and vishaya so there is आलंबन विभाव एंड उद्दीपन विभाव एंड आलंबन विभाव हैज टू डिविजन्स आश्रय एंड विषय सो डिवोटी इज द आश्रय ऑफ भक्ति और प्रेम एंड कृष्ण इज द विषय इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ लव एंड डिवोटी इज द शेल्टर ऑफ लव इज द वैसल ऑफ लव and that love moves from devotee to krishna but krishna is also the vessel of love for his devotees so he loves his devotees and therefore he is the devotee of devotees so bhagwan bhakt bhakti man bhagwan is devotee of his devotee therefore he is also the ashraya of love for his devotee and devotee is the visha so therefore it says paraspar prem ashrayatvam is a mutual ashraya krishna is also ashraya and gopis are also ashraya krishna is also vishaya and gopis are also vishaya so that's how the love functions atra mai etaha paramasakta iti krishnena yatha jyatam तथा कात्यायनी प्रसाद अस्मासु अभी अयम आसक्त अवगम्य तस्कृष्णे लज्जाइत प्राप्त मीक्षण व्यासा तथा भूत 
So just as Krishna knew that these gopis, they are very much in love with me, Paramasattva. Then by the blessing of Katyayani, gopis also knew that Krishna is in love with them. It's not that they were not knowing this, they also came to know. Asmasu api ayam asakta, iti tabhir api avgamya, tasmin Sri Krishna lajjaitam pratvamekshan. And that's why they were feeling bashful and looking at him. Tatha bhuta satyo bhavotha jadya deva na chelo. And because of this, this sattvic bhav manifest in them that they were unable to move. So na chelo, because of the love, they were unable to move. So, Yakhalu Krishnena Niskashita Tabhirapi Tiraskrita Tadang Angebhyo Nishritya Duram Gata Abhut Salajja Puna Paravritya Yanti Nainene Kritam Tat Sahayena Krishna Samipam Niyamana Krishna Labdha Krishna Labdhati Prasada Punasta Samangesu Purutavi Adhikam Adhikaram so he is making a dhvani here that what Krishna did that he pulled out the modesty from the gopis because if they kept modesty with them they will not be able to come out naked in front of him so he made them he made them modesty less immodest so therefore he says that Yakhalu Krishna Niskashita, that it was pulled out and they also disregarded it. Because if they did not disregard it, they will hold on to it and not come out. So this modesty therefore left their bodies and went away. He's making like as if modesty is some being because all these bhavas they are depicted like that as personalities so then modesty went and stood far away from them and thus they were able to stand naked in front of Krishna but now that modesty turned back she went away and then they turned back and she came back with the help of the eyes because eyes they are feeling bashful because they are the one who were standing naked in front of Krishna now they are dressed and their heart is fixed on him so they are feeling little bashful so as if the eyes are telling to this modesty please come back we throw you out now you can come again so Kritam Tat Sahayena Krishna Samipam Niyamana But the as if modesty was little f- modest Modesty was also showing her modesty Not easily coming She was also feeling bashful And just now these people throw me out How can I go back so easily now? Right? If he insults somebody And then he says sorry please so then that person thinks, is he really serious or he is going to do it again? So she was standing and thinking, shall I go not go, go not go? But then she saw the eyes of the gopis and she thought, there seems to be possibility. So therefore, with the help of the eyes, this modesty walked near to Krishna. Because Krishna is the one who has pulled her out. So she comes to him. And then Krishna blesses. Because she wanted to make sure that I go and he is again going to pull it out. Right? Krishna is the one who pulled out the modesty. So now she doesn't want to take chance without his permission. So she came to him and Krishna said, Subhamastu that 
let all good be upon you. So then she came again to the gopis. So punastasam angeshu purvopi adhikam adhikaram. So now she came back and she caught them even more strongly than before. Because once it's like a child is taken away from the mother by some stranger. And then when he comes back, he will cling more strongly that I don't want to be taken away again like this. Because modesty felt like that, like a baby snatched away. So means now they are feeling more bashful than even before. That is the meaning of Lajjai Tekshna, that with bashful eyes, you are seeing. Tasam Vijaya Bhagavan Svapada Sparsha Kamyaya Dhritavratanam Sankalpam Maha Dhamma Darobalaha So Krishna who is Bhagavan and who is Dhamudar So he understood the wish of the gopis that they want to have the touch of his feet and dhrita vratanam and therefore they have performed this vrata for katyayani with this sankalpa so then he spoke to them as follows so bho rasika shekhara asma bhir vrata phalam praptam eva yada sadharanam vidambanam tvaya kritam tena api prana na niryapitaha pratyut tvadanurodhena santoshita eva so as if gopis are saying that o oh, crest jewel of the rasikas of the lovers we perform this katyayani vrata and we certainly got the fruit of it means our vrata has been successful and although you disgraced us in most extraordinary way but still our prana our life here did not leave us we did not die rather because of you they are satisfied means Generally, in such a situation, they would have given up their life. But instead, they are feeling even stronger than before, more happy, more satisfied, full of love. Kincha jalad asman uthapya nana chaturya srishtya asmat sarvangan ikshitva asmat paridhaniya vasam sisviya skandha dhritani Kritva eva asmabhyam sva manoratnena sardham dattavatatvaya yat kinchi duktam tasya cha pratyuttartaya asmabhi salajjavaloknam eva tubhyam dat. Moreover, not only that our wish has been fulfilled or our prayers have been granted, but you brought us out from the water and with various expertise different expert talks you saw us naked and then you took our dresses and put them on your shoulder and then you gave them back to us along with your mind means now we are actually dressed in your love basically because giving back the dresses that he is giving love to them. Manoratnena sardham dattavata. Your mind, which is like a gem because it is full of love. So you have given our dresses back. And then, whatever you spoke to us, we reply, our reply to you is that we only look at you. Because he said you can go back to your home and all this. He says, the, our only reply 
is salajjavaloknam eva tubhyam dattam. As was said in the previous sloka, that we only give you our bashful looks. Anena smakam tvai apradhava tvat prinanam va iti ajanati asman mugdha prati yatte vivakshitam tat khalu desha kala patra bhigya stvam brohi. So therefore they are saying that we don't know what we have done is an offense to you or is it satisfactory to you. We are very simple, straightforward and we are very much in love with you. Therefore whatever you want to say, whatever is your wish to speak to us, because you are the best knowledgeable person about time, place and persons. Means at what time, what should be said, what should be done, at what place, what time and with whom, you know this best. So therefore you can speak to us. Tat Surtva Eva Griham Yama Iti only after hearing your words will we return to our homes. Tatra Pratyuttara Yishyato Bhagavataha Sarva Bhigyatvam Ekena Tatastat Pratyuttram Chaha Tridhistashamati So in response to this, Krishna speaks three slokas. Because here it says that he spoke to them. So he says that he speaks three verses to them. In the first verse, he explains or he tells them that he is Sarvagya or he knows everything. He is not ignorant. And then after that he speaks two more slokas what he wants to tell them. So in this way he will speak three verses and then this Leela comes to an end. So this is what he said first. Sankalpo viditaha sadhavya bhavti nam madarchanam maya no moditaha so sao satyo bhavitu marhiti so he says that, O oh, Sadhvi or saintly ladies, you did worship, you worshipped me and you had a sankalpa. So this is approved by me although you are not able to speak it. Because when Krishna asked them, he gave them dress, they are standing, they also wanted to say something to him. They wanted to tell that we did this vrata for you, to get you as our husband. But they were unable to say it. So now Krishna says that although you did not speak this to me, I already know it. So this is the meaning of Sarva that he is omniscient. So you are unable to say, Madhya Sukha Utpadaka Madhvishya Kararadhana Meva Sankalpa Manoratha. So your Sankalpa, your Manoratha, your wish is only to give me happiness and therefore you have done my worship. Such a lajjaya yusmabhir akathito api maya vidito anumoditas. Out of shyness, you are unable to speak it. You did not say it. But it is known to me and it is approved by me. Niskatavatvat satyascha atev bhavitu marhatiye. And because your wish is pure 
there is no duplicity involved in it you are very sincere therefore it deserves to come true so that means if we pray to krishna sincerely then he fulfills the wish so that is the meaning of nishkaitavatvat satyascha ate bhavitum arhate bhavati nam matsuk tatparyat mamapi prem vashyatvat katra khalu sambhavna iti bhavana so the sense is that your intention is only to make me happy to please me to satisfy me you have no other wish that is the meaning of nishkatava because when you have any other wish for yourself then that is deceptive idea even the wish to attain liberation is deception but if our wish is only to please krishna are they able to hear because everything seems to be frozen and i'm getting a message that poor network no we can hear okay all right because i got message that's very poor network and everybody face is frozen so he says that this is niskatava so because if we belong to krishna and we are not independent of him then what is that we desire something without him any desire in which he is not the object he is not the goal that is cheating that is deception so even moksha is not desiring him means you are still thinking of yourself as independent so gopis they surrendered fully to him that is the meaning of niskatav that even this modesty they did not keep for themselves because if they did not come out as he said that means they have something for themselves they have some honor some respect which they want to have and not go in front of him so they do drop that also everything is surrender this is what is called niskatav that not even a trace of independent idea they have so therefore he says that i am completely controlled by your love mama pe prem vashyatvat if you are so surrendered then where is the question that i can remain independent of you ye yatha mam prapadyante tam stathai bhajamya hum krishna says even to normal people that as you approach me worship me i reward accordingly so if they are fully devoted to krishna for his pleasure then krishna also reciprocates then he cannot remain independent then he also becomes controlled by them so that that's the meaning that mama api prema vashyatvat i'm also under your control under the control of your love so katra khalu sambhavna so where is the possibility that your wish will not be fulfilled because their wish is not independent of him they only want him okay? and the husband why they want him as husband first of all because it is a social custom for them to get married and by having him as husband they want to serve him If they get married elsewhere they will not get the possible chance to serve him so that is their wish that's why it is niskatava atra kripa shakti reva tasu adhikam udbhavitam tat prem vasham api tat tat leela vishtam api bhagavantam aishwaryam sphoriyatva tat prapti arthak katyani archan krichra ज्ञाप्यमास तत्फल च प्रदाप्यमास सो नाउ हेयर सम डाउट कैन कम इन द माइंड दैट हियर दिस होल पास टाइम इज और द माधुरी लेवल मीन्स लाइक नर लीला नॉट ऐश्वर्य लीला एंड कृष्णाज सुप्रीम 
grace was manifest in the gopis and he himself is also the he also under the control of their love so in this situation how can aishwarya come up so earlier we studied when yashoda mata saw the universe in krishna's mouth or she was trying to bind and because of his love the aishwarya of krishna did not influence him her and krishna was also not able to manage although he, the ropes were becoming bigger and bigger but he remained small only he did not become big or anything like that so and he did not think that he is god he was actually fearful of mother yashoda and crying means his aishwarya shakti did not become manifest so how is it that now the aishwarya became manifest so that he has come to know that the gopis have worshiped katyani because they want to have him as husband and then he is blessing them which is also aishwarya as a human child how can he bless them they worship in katyani so how can he bless them he is not some sage or some rishi or some brahmana boy even just a coward boy so that's what he is trying to explain here so atra kripa shakti reva tasu adhikam udbhavitam so supreme kripa shakti became manifest and tat prem vasham api tat tat lila avishtam and krishna is also controlled by their love and he is fully absorbed in this lila in this past time means he is not thinking i'm god or i have this power or that power so still his lila shakti made his aishwarya manifest bhagavantam aishwaryam sporyatva tat prapti artha katyani arth archan krishnam yapyam as and made krishna understand that they have performed this difficult vrata to attain him and also made to give them the blessings that your sankalpa will be fulfilled that why says ba maya anumodita other he got so much aishwarya manifest in him that he is blessing what katyani should bless because they are worshiping katyani then it is katyani who should bless them so he is bypassing katyani and blessing himself so that means aishwarya came but this aishwarya is coming to support the prema and not to subdue it or power it so in such a situation it is not a problem so tas tas tu narayan samayiti gargoktya eva ayam swam narayanam manyate smayiti jananti smayiti so how gopis are taking this that how does he know he is just a small boy so they are not thinking he is god or anything like that so one thing is that they are, everybody remembers the prediction of garga muni that he is equal to narayan and qualities and therefore they are thinking well it is narayana's doing narayana is doing all this not me uh, not he and therefore they are not manifesting any feeling of reverence towards him otherwise they will also become reverential because he is god then then the prema will also diminish as soon as the knowledge of aishwarya comes then prema wants to disappear from there take a second place so this did not happen to them so even aishwarya does his function that function is only to support 
to fortify the prema and not work against it not subdue it not dilute it minimize it that's sense here namayaveshit dhyam kamah kamaya kalpate bharjita kutita dhana prayo bija enishate so he says that a person whose mind is fixed on me and fixed on me means fixed sincerely so then his karma his desires or their desires or her desire that does not manifest some material objects for a pleasure karma karma kalpate na kalpate means if we worship krishna sincerely then our material desires cannot become manifest or troubleless so bharjita kothita dhana prayo bijaye nishte just like if you take grains and you fry them or boil them and then you sow them in the ground so will they fructify will they sprout no if you want to make sprout and you take the grains and boil them then will they sprout no they will not sprout or if you fry them and then try to sprout they will not sprout so then it is not possible that they can sprout so similarly if our desires if our wishes are only for krishna then they cannot manifest in something material that is not any the outcome cannot be something which will entangle us in the material world or which will bring some unfavorable result yacha kvachit kam madarshanam saketavatvad asatyam ayathartham tadapi maya sa swad gunyat satyam eva bhavitum arham एवं कर्त शक्य किं पुनः परम शुद्ध महोत्तम प्रेम मयो भक्ति नाम मदाराधन मरो मनोरथ इ सेज दट इफ समबडी वर्शिप्स मी इवन विद सम डिसेप्शन विच मीन्स विद सम मेटेरियल डिजायर एंड असत्यमयथार्थम मीन्स इज नॉट ट्रूथफुल नॉट डूइंग इट प्रॉपरली सेज इवन दैट आई एक्सेप्ट एंड कृष्ण से चतुर्विधा भजनते नाम जना सुकृत नर्जुन आर्थो जिज्ञासु अर्थार्थी ज्ञानी चर्थस सो ही सेज दट दे आर ऑल उदार सर्वे उदार देर ऑल ग्रेट सो ही सेज दट आई फुलफिल देयर डिजायर ऑल्सो then what to speak of these gopis who are supremely pure param shuddham mahottam premmay and they have the highest prema for me so how is it possible that they will not be able to get their wish fulfilled so therefore it says that bhakti naam madaradhan manoratha tya that your manoratha your wish will be fulfilled kamah sakamatu lakshanam kaitavam kamaye so kam the word kama namai aveshadhyam kama kamaye kalpate that 
comma here refers to some material wish sakamatu lakshanam katavam this means deception and kama means tatphalai ayatharthai kam bhogai so ayatharth means material objects because they are temporary they are not permanent so na kalpate so it is not possible that one performs devotion to krishna and one will end up entangled into the material world kintu visha mahimna kam shanta ev atr dishtant but because of the power of the worshipable that is krishna their heart becomes purified so there is sloka like that satyam arthitam arthati that it is true that krishna he gives what is asked for and then in the process he purifies the heart so that the person does not keep on asking again and again the same thing so ichha pidhanam sapad pallavam he gives his own foot come to the place from where the desires are arise means in the mind so this is called the power of the vishaya because when krishna is worshiped then he is the vishaya of the worship and worshiper is the ashraya so because of the potency of the worshipable one becomes free from the kaitava deceptive mentality the cheating or material desire so this is the difference when people worship another deva so they worshiping that they will only get something material which is temporary and they cannot get even moksha but if you worship krishna even with material desire then you will become purified in the process therefore it is described that श्रेयस्तु सत्व तनो खलु निर्णाम दैट द श्रेय द अल्टीमेट गुड कम्स ओनली फ्रॉम द सत्व तनो द सात्विक बॉडी व्हिच इज ऑफ विष्णु और कृष्ण नॉट फ्रॉम द अदर्स सो हियर देयर इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ भर्जिता इति अत्र धाना शब्देन यवा एव उच्यन्ते सो हियर द वर्ड धाना धाना ऑल द रेफर्स टू राइस but it means here yava or barley because you don't fry dhana you fry rice dhana means with the chaff on it because when you sow you cannot sow the rice without the chaff chaff is considered as useless but it has usefulness if you want to sow you remove the chaff from the rice it won't sprout anymore so it looks useless but it has its value so therefore it says bharjita because you make mudi mudi you know fried rice so that fried rice is rice without the chaff and dhana is with the chaff so you could don't do bharjita dhana but you can you can fry barley so therefore says it is barley here so techa yava khalu pankile bhuma ukta prarohanti so if you throw this barley in the moist ground then it will sprout taiva surya kant ratna bhuma ukta stapena bharjita bhavanti तथो वृष्टिजल सिक्ता क्वथिता रंधिता बीजाएंको निशंते न समर्थ एंड देन इफ द हीट कम्स स्ट्रांग हीट देन दे बिकम फ्राइड चली 
He's putting them on the ground here. And then if they get fried, and after that the rain comes, then they will boil in that. Somehow he's trying to boil the barley in the ground. <laughs> so randhita means cooked. Bijaya ankurud bhava neste na samartha so then they don't sprout. Anyway, the point is that if you fry them or if you boil them, then they don't grow. So like that, material desires get fried if you worship Krishna. So prayati yathayati yathayati. The word praya here is not, praya means generally. That generally they will not sprout. But what does it mean generally? means sometimes they will sprout. No, they don't sprout. They never sprout. So he says that the word praya here means edge. Not generally. And then he quotes this dictionary. Yathaha Vishwa Prakasha Prayascha Anushane Mrityav Prayo Bahulya Tulleyo Iti Medanija. That the word praya Praya also means to sit down on a fast till death, like Parikshit Maharaj. So it's, the word used is prayopavesha, in sitting down, fasting till death. And praya also means bahulya, which means generally, most of the time, and tulya means equal, like. So here it is in the sense of like. Neshyate iti cha paathas chit suk sammathas tatra ekattam arsha. So there are two different readings. One is Neshyate as we see it here. means it is not capable. And Naishyate doesn't happen. That is according to chit sukhacharya. It should be plural. Neshyante. Because it is dhana. Plural. So these are ars prayer. I will stop here if there is any question. Bhavan? Hmm. Hmm. I have a question. Uh, so in the commentary, this improper offering, uh, that is basically offering with material desires, but can it be inter- interpreted as offering without a vidya of the Shastra, offering wrong things? Would that also be purified or is it just uh, even the... Uh, would, that, would that interpretation be applicable here? He did not say that. He only said that offering with material desire. That's what he said. Ayatharth means for one's own enjoyment. I would be interested yeah. about this um, vrata that the gopis did. Mm-hmm. I would be interested about the vrata that the gopis did. So it was said that they did something like havi, havi vrata or they would eat only havi. Havishyana. Havish, yeah. Aha, so this is Havishyana, what it's called today, yeah? Mm-hmm. Because I've heard also that some people during Kartik, for example, they they eat only Havishya Anna. Yeah, and just what? all this what you eat on a car machine. Aha. It's not grains. Oh, okay. Yeah. My question is about uh, these four uh, boys over there with Krishna. When all this conversation took place and uh, this pastime took place, so they were still there? And yes. Well, yes, yeah, well, yeah, that's not been told was there yet. Maybe they were told go and look for the cows. <laughs> well, initially, it was told that they were laughing along with Krishna, but then subsequently, nothing was mentioned like not there yet. 
Yeah, in the beginning they were there, but afterwards there is no mention of them. So maybe he told them to go and look for the cows. Anything else? Okay.